Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I want to do a quick little video talking about these uh, new reverbs that I've been trying out lately. And this is the PSP AudioWare's PSP 2445. This is the digital recreation of two EMT reverbs, and that would be the 244 and the EMT 245. And basically what PSP AudioWare has done is they've allowed you to switch between using one algorithm, the other, or both combined, which is really, really cool. Um, they've also added lots of extra control, things that they didn't have in the unit before where you can now open this and you can switch the routing that it actually has. And if you read the manual, I believe what it says is it changes the way that the algorithms process the left and right signal. It switches the way that they're going in and out. You also have a nice little high pass filter that's been added to get rid of excess low end. And you have these controls that let you either extend or shorten the low end and the high end of the actual reverb unit itself. Along that, you also have a width control so you can make it mono. Maybe make it just tighten a little bit stereo, or you can really widen it out. You also have a balance, so you can actually push something all the way to the left or all the way to the right. Besides the extra controls that they've actually added, there is also the standard controls that you have. You have an input, so you can actually view how loud you're going in, and you can crank it or reduce it. You have a pre-delay, which lets you choose between 0 milliseconds all the way to 84. You have a reflections, minimum early reflections or maximum early reflections. You have your reverb decay time, which is from 0.2 seconds all the way to five seconds. And you have these little switches which basically extends the low end or dampens the high end. You also have a wet dry knob so you can choose if you wanna use this as an insert or an aux send. And you have an output gain switch. So what I'm gonna do is just like listen to this track the way that it is right now. And then we're gonna actually go into it and start messing with everything. So here we go. So far all I have this on is these multi instruments which is uh, I'm using the bathroom preset on one, and then I'm using the E244 preset on another. So let's listen to just these by themselves real quick, and I'll show you what they sound like with them on. So first, we'll start with the uh, multi-instrument, which is using Presence and Mai Tai. So you can hear a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay going on at first. It sounds good, it doesn't sound bad, but I want to add a little bit of like vibe, a little bit of movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the reverb send right now, turn it on. And now we're going to listen to it and see how it sounds. So now that we've heard it on that, let's listen to the next one. And this is using the E244 preset. So here we go. So on this one, I'm obviously making its decay last a lot longer. But one thing I might want to do is I'm going to actually add a little bit of high pass filtering to get rid of some of that excess low end. And since we're using the 244 algorithm, let's mess around with the switch and see if we're actually getting any sound before we do any changes. It's really, really subtle. I'm barely hearing a difference at all. So I'm kind of liking this. Let's keep it there. And then let's do a little bit of high pass filtering. And let me actually reduce some of the, the low end uh, timing. And let's actually listen to what that actually does right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have this both set to nothing. And then I'm going to bring one up all the way and then bring it down all the way and bring the other one up. Let's start with the low end. That sounds kind of interesting. It's really subtle and really smooth, but I am hearing a little bit of a difference and I'm kind of liking it. It's noticeable enough to I can actually hear it, get a little vibe, but it's not so obvious that I'm getting this overly done sound. Now let's listen to this without this reverb that we've kind of dialed in real quick. Cool. Now that's added a lot of vibe and I'm kind of digging that. The next thing that I'm going to actually do is I'm going to have this going on with the drum set too. This is just a stock impact kit. 
And what I want you to hear is I'm actually creating my own little custom plate. I've actually used the 60s plate preset and I've kind of tuned it. I'm going to like mess with it right now. So let's go back to default. Let's just create our own reverb. Listen to this first with no reverb and then we're going to create our own reverb with the snare. So to me, that's actually added a nice color and really added a lot of power to this. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to mute the reverbs, all of them, and we're going to see what it sounds like without it. And then we're going to add it back in. Now, as you can see here, there's absolutely no processing being done after that. And all I'm doing after that is on my mix bus, I have Mongoose just doing a crossover so I can have all my low frequency going into mono so I don't have any weird wobbliness going on. So here we go. This is without and then this is going to be with. Hopefully you guys like that and hopefully you guys could actually hear how that's added a nice little vibe and nice little color to it. I honestly really like this reverb. I think it's really, really well worth the price. And I've actually started using this on everything. This has almost become my go-to reverb for everything. Um, besides that, the only thing I might use a lot is a spring reverb, which I'm actually planning on checking out their spring reverb pretty soon. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like this. And I highly recommend demoing this out. You get a 14 days free trial, I believe. And this is a really, really good plugin. I went and I actually bought this right away after a couple of days of trying it out because I've been using this on everything. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys like this. See you guys later.